All right, now people from far and wide are packing into Harbor Park tonight in anticipation of the Savannah Bananas. That's right, there will be a bunch of people <laughs> at Harbor Park. The team used to play in the Coastal Plain League, but now Strictly plays barnstorming exhibition games in their famous banana ball format. For more about it, we go live to Norfolk. Wavy Sports Director Craig Loper joins us now from Harbor Park. Hey, Chris and Regina. Yeah, this is uh, pretty exciting, if I say so myself. I know personally, I started seeing these wild baseball videos popping up on my social media timelines like four or five years ago. Had no idea what it was all about. Clearly, a lot more people do now know what this is all about. Think of it as a uh, Harlem Globetrotters, or of course, baseball version. This is grassroots entertainment, family fun that is action packed. Let's show you some video of what I'm talking about. As you said, Chris, banana ball is what they have deemed this style of baseball. It's a mixture of so many things like dancing, and I mean a lot of dancing. Also various antics each inning that's treated like its own show, inning to inning. Specific rules like if a fan catches a foul ball, it counts as an out for the team on offense. There are flaming bats. A player on stilts who is literally the world's tallest baseball player. He's called stilts. Just a little while ago, we spoke to some of the players on the team about what they love most about banana ball. Oh, it's a lot of things in one, man. I, I would say it's um, it's Broadway on sport. It's Broadway combined with sports. It's it's you know you go get a little bit of circus. You're gonna get a little bit of. Um, you know, Gladiator. It's truly uh, the greatest show in sports, man. That's what you go to get. It's like baseball with a lot of shenanigans mixed around it. That's, that's how I describe it right there. <laughs> These guys obviously had a lot of fun with this thing, and this is sweeping the country in terms of fandom. They have sold out uh, uh, Nats Park up in D.C., they sold out the AAA Stadium in Buffalo. They've been to the Cleveland Guardians Stadium, Progressive Field uh, in Cleveland. Of course, you have the Boston where the Red Sox play. That It's been a crazy summer for these guys, and it is coming to Harbor Park for the next three days. Tickets on the secondary market, we checked when we left the office this afternoon, going for about $200 right now. So that's your only spot. We're going to be able to get them if you want any chance of getting here tonight. But this place is expected to be at capacity. Coming up at 5 o'clock, there are two local connections on the bananas that I'm going to tell you about. But for now, live at Harbor Park, I'm Craig Loper. Back to you in the studio. All right, we want to know, <laughs> did you score tickets to see the Savannah Bananas this weekend? That is our poll question on wavy.com. I thought it was very rude of the organist to play <laughs> Craig the off the stage <laughs> there. A majority say they are or they couldn't get tickets. Ten on your side wants to hear from you. Log on and vote.